So what's the other way to get to Rottnest? By boat? Ah, uh, yeah. So you've got boat and chopper. There's, there's like a seaplane. There is, right? Oh, there's a seaplane as well. But yeah, I reckon helicopter's the best way to do it. Helicopter. Sure. Helicopter is always the best way yeah. to do it. <laughs> So this morning we're actually going to go to Rottnest Island to go and see some quokkas, which I am very excited about. <laughs> I don't know if like a lot of you guys know what these are because they're very like rare animals. Like I don't think they exist in many other parts of the no. world. But they're pretty unique to WA, like Western Australia and Rottnest Island. And they are the cutest little marsupials. Like when you see what they look like, they look like they've been photoshopped to have like a little smile on their face. But they're just so friendly and adorable. They look like little cartoon animals. Yeah. And they smile and they love cameras and they they're very friendly to humans as well yeah exactly apparently they just come up to you we've never been there before so I'm not sure how true that is <laughs> I'm just gonna cover myself in peanut butter and I'm sure they'll come <laughs> That was great. The water is like crystal clear. Oh, I can't wait to jump in it. <laughs> Cheers. There's lots of little poos everywhere. And I don't think they're kangaroo. I think they might be quokka poos. So I'm very excited because I think we're going to see some quokkas. And I think there's going to be loads of them. So this is what we're trying to find. Like literally, I think they're a bit bigger than this. But this is what it looks like. I think they stand about this tall though. I like how these provide sun protection in addition to crash protection. And fashion. <laughs> now these bikes are actually e-bikes, which is great, because um, it's really hot. I don't particularly want to ride around the whole island. Yeah, with God my forbid legs. we do any exercise. Yeah, no way. <laughs> Every time Pia rides a bike, I feel like it's her first time riding a bike. Safety check. Go on then. Brakes. <laughs> Brakes work, well done. Anything else? Wait, left brake, right brake. That's not how it works. It's front brake, back brake. Right, we've just stopped because we've found, I think it's Quokkapoo. It's definitely Quokkapoo. We must be close. <laughs> it's been here in the last 15 minutes. Yep, that's <laughs> How epic is this? This is amazing. It's so beautiful. We've just realised what the time is. It's lunchtime. Our lunch is in 30 minutes, <laughs> and I'm pretty certain we are 45 minutes away from. Yeah, it the took restaurant. us a leisurely hour bike ride to get here. So um, we're gonna have to zoom. Yeah. So we've got to go back, back the way we came. came. Yes. All right. Let's go. Wow, we made that. Perfection. I don't even know how we got here this, that far. Yeah, I know. But I do know that my legs are now killing me. <laughs> we were zooming and we were, we're on the e-bikes, so it shouldn't be that hard. We were so hungry, we totally forgot to vlog all of our meal. So oh, yeah. We came in. I think the last thing you probably saw on the vlog was us arriving. Well, now we're finished, so. It's an hour later and we are like, we ate so much. We both feel like we need to have a little nap. And I had a beer, that's, the, that's why I need a nap. Yeah. I had like bruschetta, like tomato, basil on bread. We had arancini balls. We basically got like six different entrees and just ate all entrees. So we're on a mission now because we've got to leave in 45 minutes um, or get back to the airport in 45 minutes. And we haven't actually, well, I've seen a quokka, but we didn't really get a nice photo of one. And Pia hasn't even really seen one yet. And while we look this good, we need to get a selfie. Where do you think we're going to find these little 
fellas. They there was all one actually here. seem to be hanging out where the people are more than like in like the bush. Yeah, because they know they're going to get a free meal. Yeah, but so. you're not allowed to feed them, so I don't think they get any food from humans. I think they're just very comfortable with people. All right. Or maybe do you think they're picking up yeah, yeah, like, yeah. discarded food scraps? Yeah. Oh, we found one under this tree, but he looks like he's kind of chilling because it's still really hot. So I don't really want to annoy him too much, but I would like to have a little look. I've got pouches, hi. Yeah, no marsupials. Hey, buddy. Are you coming real close? What are you gonna? Are you gonna eat me? He's not scared of me. No. I'm actually more scared of him. Hello. Oh, he smiles. They do have smiles. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's my phone, mate. We found a little quagga and he's just sitting under this bike rack. He's, look, there's people are everywhere and he's just so tame. Oh, do you want to look at my camera? Oh, you're a cutie. You're a cutie. You got a little cheeky smile. climbed into the bush and we found two. There's one and there's the other. I've just pulled some leaves on the tree and this smells really strong so I think he might actually come and say hello. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Hello, what's this? You can have that. You are a cute little thingy. Oh yes you are. Yeah, can we get a photo together please? Can we take a selfie? I had no idea they used their tail for balance so much, just like a kangaroo. Oh, you are so inquisitive. That was such a short trip. I know. I loved it though. We have to come back. I would say that is mission successful for finding quackers. Yes. Back to the chopper. <laughs>